Hey, Michael, uh, obviously Blazers 19 of 40 from three. What needed to be better defensively in that aspect? <laughs> oh, a lot. <laughs> you know, I talked quite a bit about it during the week, Mike, uh, how you know, the number one concern was going to be uh, can we guard the three-point line? Uh, you look at the three regular season matchups and that two wins, I think they averaged uh, 13 made threes. The one win, they made 18. And obviously tonight it went up to 19. So um, too many breakdowns. You know I mean? Like to, to win a playoff game, especially when you're undermanned, uh, you have to be on point with everything. You have to have a great discipline with the game plan, great discipline in terms of guarding their personnel. And, uh, and we didn't have it. I felt uh, the two big runs in this game that were crucial. Uh, end of that first quarter, they closed on a 15 to four run. We gave up 35 points that quarter. You go to the third quarter, we got up to a pretty good start. We built like a 10 point lead, I think. They call a timeout. They close the third quarter like on a 32 to 13 run. And the very end of that was an 8 0 run where Damian Lillard took over. Uh, and they scored 38 points in that quarter. Those two runs were, were so impactful. In the first half, the three-point line was Anthony Simons and Carmelo Anthony. Those guys were terrific for them in that first half. So um, guys played hard, but we have to play a lot smarter. Matt Moore, the Action Network. Michael. Uh, can you talk a little bit about the decision to play Marcus Howard, uh, what you thought he brought, the good and the bad, and then also uh, if you see Shaq Harrison having a role later as the series goes on? Yeah, it's, um, you know, Marcus Howard gives you, gives you offense and spacing uh, and a shooting threat. And, you know, with, with the amount of guys that we have out, um, and we shot 30% from the three-point line tonight, you know, and uh, they're going to shrink and crowd Michael. They're going to shrink and crowd Nicola. So, you know, Marcus is a guy that we know can put the ball in the basket. Regarding Shaq, obviously Shaq is, you know, a different type of a player. He can definitely make shots, but he is a, uh, a defensive player. And, you know, well, last time we played them, um, if you go back and watch the film, you'll see what they did when Shaq was in the game. I'm not going to do your work for you. Mark Kisla, Denver Post. You mentioned uh, the – Brian at the end of the third by Portland and, and Dame at the very end of that. Right. Yeah, yeah, Dame is obviously a great player. Ten, to what extent do you have to concentrate more slowing them down or do you just decide he's going to get his and we got to attack them a different way? Well, it's funny because, you know, I felt in the first half, we did a great job in the backcourt. Uh, I think both uh, CJ and Dame were combined eight of 22 at, at the half. Uh, the impact was off their bench and Simons and Carmelo who really torched us. Uh, and then obviously, you know, it's tough to keep Dane quiet for four quarters and he got going and, you know, it's, you know, we, we're going to have to help Michael out because it's you know, kind of what we saw in the playoffs last year. They started putting Michael in every pick and roll and trying to really, you know, isolate and attack him. So obviously Michael has to be better and we have to figure out ways where we can help him. Uh, but Dame is a tough one. You know, it's, if you cut the head off, does that allow CJ and Powell and Carmelo and Nurk and those guys to get off? Um, we've done a good job on Dame in the past, um, but, you know, they put so much pressure on you with their guards and the amount of pick and rolls they play, the amount of dribble handoffs they're involved in. Uh, and again, I, I think the last thing I'll say in that kiss is just too many breakdowns in terms of guarding him. You know, well, we let him walk into threes that, he takes eight and a half pull-up threes a game on the season, and we let him walk into some of those tonight, and that was definitely not the game plan. Brandon Cristal, KOA. Yeah, Coach, when you talk about the effort was there, but but the breakdowns, and you just touched on them again, does it give you any kind of comfort to know that that's correctable versus an effort thing, which I guess is also correctable? I guess what's the level of concern knowing that they're going to keep firing from three? Well, the concern is that we have three days to prepare for this. And after three days, there were still breakdowns. You know, the, the, the hope was, you know, with the whole plan and allowing, you know, us to have practices Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, and just the amount of repetitions we had in trying to work on the game plan, implement the game plan, and then you go out in game one and you don't execute the game plan. So um, that's definitely disappointing. Uh, but, yeah, your hope is correctable. 
I mean, I'm hoping that maybe once we see all the mistakes that we made tonight, you know, we can be maybe, you know, better off come uh, Monday night for game two. Um, you know, we gave ourselves a chance. We had some great moments. But when we were bad, we were really bad. And they exploited it, and they went on those two big runs that I talked about. And uh, when you have the amount of guys down, you know, it's it's tough. You know, it's tough. So uh, we really have to try to limit the amount of mental mistakes uh, to give ourselves a chance against a potent offensive team. Vinny Benedetto, Denver Gazette. Uh, hey, Michael. Michael's offensive game. He goes 11 for 11 inside the arc and one for 10 from three. Um, I guess on those kind of nights, would you like him to see like to see him attacking differently, or was it just a, an off shooting night for you? Yeah, I mean, I, I thought he's one for 10. To your point, I thought some of those were good looks. I thought some of those were rushed four shots at times. Um, and obviously, you know, we as a team only got to the foul line eight times. Uh, you know, we scored 52 in the paint. Um, so, you know, obviously you hope that we can try to get to the free throw line more, get some more calls to generate more free throws. Um, you know, but Michael's a shooter, you know, he's a scorer. And as long as he's taking good shots, you know, I'm comfortable with him, you know, launching from three, we're going to need that. You know, we're definitely going to need him to, he still had 25 points and nine boards, you know, did some really good things for us, but obviously uh, one for 10 and 11 for 36 as a team. Uh, against a team that shot 48 from three uh, is going to be really tough to win that game. All right, coach, we got time for one more. We're going to end with Alexander Zikic. Uh, coach, you know, Portland, they know you. Uh, is it harder than to prepare something that you can surprise them with and for them to surprise you with something? And is basketball really different during the playoffs? Uh, are the games really different for you as the team? Yeah, I mean, there were really no surprises tonight. You know, that they, they did what they do, and we tried to do uh, what we what we do. Um, you know, obviously, Nicola was fantastic, 34 and 15. Uh, we just need some more help uh, around that. And, and playoff games, yeah, it's going to be um, a, little, a little bit slower of a game, a lot more physical of a game. Uh, every possession matters. And when you have the breakdowns that we did tonight that lead to, like, the runs they went on tonight, the three-point line was a huge part of those runs. We had moments where we did a really good job of guarding the right way. And then when we broke down, like, the three-point line just, you know, uh, we, we just couldn't contain them. So um, it's a game of adjustments. We'll have to be a lot better than we were tonight to have a chance to even this series up going back to Portland after game two. Thanks, everybody. Appreciate it.